This is the plaintiff, Constantinos Ceres. He says he purchased a used Mercedes-Benz from the defendant, and as it turns out, the defendant falsified the inspection sticker. That's right, the car won't pass inspection, and the defendant committed a fraud. He also sold him a warranty which is worthless because the car has over 100,000 miles on it. What a snake. He's here in the name of justice, seeking the $3,969.20 he's owed for repairs and a new inspection sticker. This is the defendant, Sam Moribat. He says the car the plaintiff bought came without a warranty, and he opted to purchase one from the finance company, and it covered two years or 24,000 miles. This guy was a clown from the get-go. He's tried to scam the warranty company. He's slandering his good name and business, and the judge is going to see right through him like a piece of holy Swiss cheese. Owe him all this money? Ha! He's accused of taking advantage of a customer. The defendant has filed a counter suit for $5,000 for defamation and slander. All parties, please raise your right hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff bought a Mercedes from the defendant and says he falsified the inspection sticker and it didn't pass. But the defendant says the plaintiff's a scammer. It's the case of a bad case of the Benz. Thank you, Douglas. Constantino Saras. That's you me. are suing Quality Auto Sales of Uniondale, represented here by Sam Moribet. You're the owner? Yes, ma'am. Okay. For $3,969.20 in repairs that you say the Mercedes he sold you is going to need. You are counterclaiming against him for $500. You say he still owes you on the transaction, plus $4,500 for defamation of character. What went wrong, Mr. Saras? What's going on here? Okay. On uh, April 7th, uh, I purchased a, a 2008 Mercedes E350 from Quality Auto Sales. Uh, as I was driving the car for about three weeks, on May 2nd of 2018, I, I noticed some issues and I brought it into the uh, uh, my nearest Mercedes-Benz dealership. Okay. Okay, when I brought it in for inspection, they noticed a numerous amount of problems. Number one being that the car was given a New York State inspection uh, which was fraudulent. It would never pass because uh, it has more than 70% uh, darkness on the windows, and that's an automatic failure in New okay. York State. Okay, so you have proof that it's a fake inspection. Okay, when you say it's a fake inspection... No, when you say it's a fake inspection. Okay. Do you have proof of it being a fake inspection sticker? I Do have... I have uh, documented information from the dealership stating that it would not pass with with the darkness that's on the windows. Okay, can I see that, please? Sure. Were the tints put on after that inspection? Honestly, this is the way we got the car, Your Honor. With the tints on it? Yes. And then you had an inspection done after you got the yes, car? Yes, and this is the inspection receipt from a third party that has nothing to do with me. Okay. So he does have a, uh, something in writing from the Mercedes-Benz dealership saying, Recommend to remove window tint. Window tint will not pass New York State inspection due to being darker than 70%. I don't know how they figure that by eyeballing it, but uh, he has the inspection report, which I presume you have a copy of, so you know it passed mm. inspection. He was in the office when this car went to inspection. Where did it go in, uh, for inspection? There's a gas station next to us. They do inspection. Is that accurate? Were you in the office when it went to the gas station? They took it to the gas station, which was in another town. And then you I didn't have see this. it. Not including have the. Have you taken it to be inspected again, and has it failed? No. I'm okay. Sure. So what else is the problem? Okay, uh, I'm going to start from the beginning. The window tint has to be removed. The rubber hoses are cracked. Um, the power steering hoses are, are leaking. The sun visors inside are not working. Uh, the, the car was given with a How little... How are the sun visors not working? The they sun don't... visors, when you, when you pull the sun visor down, it does not illuminate. Okay, okay so the light these, doesn't work. All okay. these are ha hazards, safety hazards. Okay, well, I don't know. I consider it a tremendous safety hazard if I can't see my makeup correctly. <laughs> however, how is that a safety hazard, and how is that not something you see when you buy the used car? This car had over 100,000 miles, right? Yes, ma'am. Did, did he end up getting any kind of warranty? Yes, he did. Oh, he did? Yes. So that, have you made a warranty claim for the things that are covered? Uh, out of, uh, for the initial, uh, when I took the car in, you have a list there that was paid by the, warrant, by the service contract, the warranty company. Okay. But the bottom line is, when you produce a, an inspection sticker, 
in New York State, and I filed a complaint with DMV, which they will get fined in the near future. Well, that means, do you have any evidence that this inspection is false? Other than that Mercedes says, ah, that would have never passed inspection. That's Mercedes' opinion. I got that. You got that in writing. Now, did it fail inspection? Or did you ever look this up and follow up and have proof here in court that this is fake? How, how could I look at that? How could I, I look I, at I think it? It's, it's very automatic easy. failure. You my could, my no, witness no, no. is the you dealer. Just, you simply go to the place that inspected it and ask them, is this legitimate or is this doctored up? Did you pass this car? Do you have any record that you passed the car? And how could you pass it if there was this problem? And whatever, you know, something. Uh, now, what happened here? He, he yeah. calls you. When do you first understand that your client has this much discontent? This man is something else. Twice in my office, he started using foul language. I said, you don't have to sign this contract, leave. You don't, allow, you, know, you don't have to buy the car from me. I wasn't even in the office. My landlord, who's another dealer, I shared that, you know, I rent space from him. He asked him for the key, he gave him the key. He spent two hours in the car by the time I got from my, uh, my house to the dealership. He looked at it, everything is fine. I said, there's no warranty. You, have to, you would like to buy an extended warranty? He said, yes, sure, I would. He bought the warranty, we put the plates in, he leaves. I made the mistake and I told him that I'm going away for three weeks because I'm a stage four kidney, you know, disease. And he said, yeah, How fine. How are you doing? I'm fine, I'm fine. And he said, is it okay if I pay you the other $500 when you come back? And I said, fine. Because he still owed you $500? Yes, he does. Why did you release a car if he still owed you $500? No, no, in the contract he signed that he will pay me the $500 one week after. It, I know, it's but signed. Why? But listen, I'm, I'm trying. Okay. Here he is, here I'm, I'm trying to sell. I was leaving the country on the 17th, and it was the 15th he wants to pay you. We, we let it go. In, in the mechanic shop, and I have a notarized letter from my mechanic, I, he said to me, I have a feeling that you're something with this car for me. I said, That what? That you, me with this deal. That's his exact words. I said to him, If you want, go back to my dealership. Take back your $2,000 down payment and bring me the car back. That's it. I'm done with you because he is a foul man. I, I have proved that the way he treats people with his reviews, everybody is a wet rag, a ghetto, a thief. I have everything here. I saw that. Do you post reviews under a uh, pseudonym? Under what? Do, who is this individual, Robert? That's email that I use. I use that. It email. is something you use, yes. and uh, you have like you have at, at a minimum. What I've seen is thirty-eight different business establishments that you have um, no. posted your reviews on. It says thirty-eight contrib contributions. Hooters from people that here. Gas stations. People that here. Hair shops. Everybody's a thief. Everybody is a ghetto. <laughs> everybody is out to get him. He's the innocent guy, and everybody is guilty. Can somebody commit? defamation on social media? If it's wrong, of course he can. If he's wrong. I mean, social media is where everybody can say whatever they want to say they say, but can you get sued for what you say? Yeah, I'm sure it's very possible. I mean, I'm sure it's happened before and I think it can happen again. You think you're safe on social media if you uh, tell lies about people? Um, I would say just given the volume of uh, posts and everything, I don't think anyone takes anything on social as serious as they would at other outlets. So. Fake social. Fake social. Fake okay, news. going inside the courtroom. According to your mechanic, he did more than that with the mechanic. He offered him $1,000 to give him a phony invoice because he went to Atlantic City and he wanted <coughs> him to say something about something happened to the car in Atlantic City. I have a notarized letter from my mechanic. And I've seen that, uh, that notarized letter. The mechanic says that you literally walked in there and said you'd give him a cut of a scam if you, you'd give him a thousand bucks if he would just write a letter saying that their mechanical damage happened in Atlantic City. That's not true, Your Honor. He's just That's totally not... putting himself out there. Why? They're, they're lying on that side. And, and I did contact him. He was on vacation. And I did contact and him through emails. And according to him also, you acknowledge that you still owe $500. How could I owe $500? Well, that's paid, what the contract says. It was paid upon the... Do you they, have a receipt for the $500? I can't the because con they don't take, uh, they don't take uh, checks or credit cards. All they take is cash. That's fine. And, you can, and apparently you can't get a receipt when you hand cash to someone? They don't want to give it. They, don't, they, they just take the cash and they stick it in their pocket. Well, that's, that's the way they work. They do underhanded business. Because someone doesn't want to take... My, ca my yeah. cash is in my hand. And cash doesn't leave this hand without right. a receipt coming into this well, one. Well, that was a mistake I did. I didn't get a receipt. He could say, I, I owe him $2,000. Just Except like he's saying... Except he's not. Yeah. Yeah, He's I, saying you saying owe him you. the 500 your contract states, and so, by the way, is the mechanic saying that you said, I'll pay you the 500 when you get back. That's, what, let, the, that's let, what the mechanic testifies can, to in the affidavit. Can that okay, mechanic, now you have a counterclaim against him that, for that, defamation. 
that, 500 for the on. remaining balance owed and 4,500 for defamation. What is that from? Your Honor, he posted on Google that I'm a thief, that I am, uh, he's gonna shut me down, he's gonna call, he called the police on me. The police never showed up. And he, he said he's preparing for a class action lawsuit. Where did he post this? Yelp and Google. Yelp and Google, he's a Yelper. Okay, quality auto sales together with HP auto sales. That's your landlord. That's my landlord. And it has have nothing, nothing to do, to do with, the with the sale. No. Are the biggest crooks around? One must understand the financing business to understand in what extent they get ripped off. Sam, the finance guy, does nothing but raise the price of the vehicle, of what the bank allows, so that they make the most money and your down payment is lost in the shuffle, meaning the cash down goes right in their pocket but deducted from the total price of the car. Henry is another thief, <coughs> a complete liar. They sold me a vehicle that supposedly passed inspection with numerous amounts of problems. Sam has said to me he does not answer his phone because he feels he does not want to talk to customers. Uh, uh, first of all, why did you throw HP auto sales in there if that's just his landlord? He's partners with them, landlord slash partner, no, but you're not no, being told that. Another, listen, let me tell you something. You are very reckless. I've read your posts on Yelp, and you feel like your First Amendment right allows you to say what you want. It's it does. an opinion. It, it, no. Mm. See. Opinion is, I hate these guys. They're awful. I, they're, you know, I, even, even crook is kind of so, def it's so like, um, it's almost bordering <laughs> on opinion. But when you start putting specific facts, they ripped me off. They raised the price. They yeah. swindle you during a, there is, he is a thief. Yeah. A thief isn't an opinion. A thief is a fact. A complete liar is a fact. They sold me a vehicle that supposedly passed inspection. It did. Sam has said to me, I don't answer the phone because he doesn't want to talk to customers. Do you ever say that? Never say okay. that. Okay, but you actually throw in another company for good men. Are you out of your mind? This is defamation. I, let me tell you, very little of what I see is actually defamation. <laughs> this one is. Take the post down. I am ordering $500 for you to pay for the remaining amount that you owe them, and I am ordering another $500 for good measure until this day for defamation. Take the post down. You are reckless on the internet. And on top of that, you're dead wrong in court about the law. You have zero warranty with them. It's an as-is sale. They owe you bupkis. And you have zero proof that there is a falsified inspection sticker. My verdict in your lawsuit against the defendant is for the defendant. And my verdict on the defendant's defamation lawsuit against you and his lawsuit for the remaining balance is he owes you $500 and he owes you another $500 for defamation until this day. If he doesn't take it down, sue him again. Thank you very much. Sue Your him Honor. again. Thank you, Your Honor. But it mildly, Mr. Sias, you just had the book thrown at you by the judge. Yep, I sure did. <laughs> In no uncertain terms. Plus, you got to take the post down. Yeah. Or he can sue you again. I and I bet you he will. Yeah, well, he can, he can do whatever he wants to do. Well, okay. Okay? This wasn't a good day for you here in court. Sorry. On the other hand, it was a good day for you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. This customer is from hell. I think it should be a database for customers like him so that nobody can sell him a chewing gum. Chewing gum, okay. Yes. Congratulations, thank, thank you. you very much. Okay, well, social media is no different than anything else, and the fact is that if you do defame somebody, you can get sued. And that will do it for this case, litigants, for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.